You don't know what these bears do out in the woods. Aside from shitting. Obviously the bears shit a lot in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Nate, and I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Ville Town. Y do you build a village? Or a town? I, I just don't know. It's crazy. It's totally crazy around here. Uh, it's basically a research-based town management system. We're gonna go ahead and start a new game. I guess we are on max performance. Max quality. Yes, let's go for quality over quantity because uh, I don't think this is gonna be too intensive on my computer <laughs> regardless. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. New game. A long time ago, a group of pilgrims set out on an expedition to settle a new land. They were filled with optimism as they had heard wonderful things about this mystical place. There were promises of treasure and prosperity, riches beyond their wildest dreams. Legend spoke of an ancient civilization that used to live there, called the Americans. The ancients had practiced dark arts, see, and left their mark on the land. The pilgrims chose to journey there in spite of this. Their thirst for treasure outweighed their fear of little urban legends. But there are some legends based in truth, and soon after the pilgrims arrived, they found things were not as they hoped. Look at that! It's like pixel piracy. Oh my god, we should go back and play pixel piracy. I did like three or four episodes of that way early on in my uh, YouTube career, and I'd like to revisit that. Anyways. So here we are in our little town. We'll start out by chopping trees. Uh, along the top you have population, you've got food, you've got currency, ore, which is hebium, currency is kalans, and then lumber is the only relatively normal thing, normal named thing. Uh, first thing you're wanna go gonna want to do is uh, assign some hunters so your food doesn't drop too low. Then you need thinkers to research technology. We'll go ahead and research the first level of technology right away. Um, lumberjacks, obviously, for the chopping of the trees. And, uh, what you need most of all is warriors. We do need some builders as well. But I'm going to put, uh, double the amount of warriors. And there we go. Basically, uh, whatever you want to build has a research value assigned to it, which you can see on the, uh, bottom right there. So, we need one more of this potion-looking thing. Science focus, that's what it is. And uh, that'll allow us to build towers. We've got a farm ready to be built. We also need some of this uh, building focus so we can start mining for hebium, which is extremely important. Forests grow over time. I think that's probably a good thing. I'll just start clearing out some of this crap so we can uh, expand as well as possible. And uh, artifact research, stop research, destroy building. Huh. Not sure what all this does yet, but we'll find out shortly, I assume. And we'll build a mine here, because that's good. Click that green check mark, you're good to go. And we'll do uh, some service focus. It does use Kalants, but uh, it won't for the first level, which is relatively good. So we need some market research. Market research! Who's the advertising guy over here? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. You can see all the little guys wearing different colored shirt, which corresponds to the job that they're doing. Though I'm not completely sure uh, what the color coding system is quite yet. I'll build a second mine. You can also upgrade buildings, which is uh, a good idea. <clears throat> Although it will take quite a, quite a bit. Yeah, 24 hebium ore in order to upgrade the mine. But that should come along relatively quickly, I think. I'm not too worried about that right now. We'll uh, also make a farm, because my food seems to be dropping just a little bit. And that couldn't hurt. What is this? Oh, we need to do one more nature focus. So we can grow some, uh, some wood. So we can keep chopping wood. There we go. Chop down those forests. That'll do. It is a little bit clunky at the moment, um, extremely early access, you can zoom in, and uh, as for zooming out, you can't zoom out any farther than this, which I find a little bit troubling. Sword barracks, definitely something that we want, and uh, yeah, we need more ore. We need more ore, ASAP! Hmm, I could build a barricade on one side, but it's not gonna matter so much, I don't think. Good, we're getting a little bit of food from that farm. 
But I need more ore. That is uh, the struggle in this game. The infinite struggle. We have six population unassigned at the moment. So I'm going to shove most of those into warriors. And then we can uh, do some more hunters. Oh. I could also put some more uh, thinkers to research things. Allows collection of ancient artifacts. Ooh, I like it. I'm going to do that. Although we also need construction focus after that. Not a problem. It's what I do, baby boo. And uh, I think some bad things will come during the winter. Gonna be here for a while. Who should be in charge? It's Dayton. Just Dayton. Don't worry, guys. Best of luck in the land of Villetown. Why, thank you so much, anonymous uh, competing narrator. But I'm the humblest narrator, so I'll allow you to be here for at least a little while. Okay, go away now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was timed really well. I didn't know it was going to do that. Ho, ho, ho. And uh, we'll do a little more building focus. Obviously, I don't have any artifacts or things. Um, but that's what I'm hoping to, to get done with this temple. But we need to farm faster. More mines. That's what I'm going to do. It doesn't cost any... Um, any ore to build a mine, so I'll just kind of go ham with that for a second. And this is Sword Barracks, okay. Sword Barracks Farm. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine! And you need... Oh! <clears throat> you need one population to go into the mine. He's the guy who lives underground. He's a mole man! He's a mole man! Library. We need more colants in order to research another uh, service focus. So we could uh, build a market. I think that would be a good idea. And then we could bring in some uh, trade for the people that enjoy trading. Food reserves are getting low, but I think it is going up. We started with 200 and uh, we're, we're staying above that mark. It does come out in like quite a big chunk, so it's kind of hard to tell. But that's okay. I will uh, do a little more research service focus thing. So I can get my uh, library built once we have the resources for it. And I, I just need a bunch of mines. I guess that's what I need. I don't understand. Uh-oh. Here comes the bad things. I don't know what it's going to be during the first year. They're wolves. Lots and lots of wolves. And uh, are my warriors fighting the wolves? It doesn't seem so. I should have built a tower. Hmm. Oh, they're doing okay. I did get that sword barracks built, so uh, it should be relatively fine, I think. We've got uh, builders trying to keep these buildings up. Can we build a tower over here? Thank you so much. That'll do just fine. Come, builders! Start building! If the wolves get to the center of my town, the the town hall, um, then this big red circle on the stop, top will start to lose health, which is something that I do not want. We are going to be fighting uh, these fucking wolves all season, it seems like, and uh, the right side is caving in. This is not good. This is not good. It could be a very short game for my little vill town. Um, yeah, it's it's looking bad. We need some more warriors. Go warriors! Warrior things! Well, the wolves are getting through just a little bit, but uh, it seems the warriors are able to take care of them relatively quickly. And the tower is built over there. So hopefully we'll be okay. I need some more builders. That's what I need. And now I don't have any guys to, uh, to man the mines. But that's okay. It's just a, a matter of survival at this point. These fucking wolves are everywhere. But the more buildings you have in the way, uh, the easier it is to stop the wolves. So, for now, the, the flow of damage is staunched just a little bit. And luckily, uh, yeah, we have plenty of ore. So I should be able to uh, build something nice. Temple, I need a guy. But I will make a builder's hut just here. And there we go. Survived the first year of Villetown. Oh my god, but my people are about to starve. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Just make a farm. Just make another farm. 
Everything's gonna be great! And that farm is relatively dead. And I need two, two more people to man it if I want to upgrade. After clearing out the last of the beasts, you hear a rustling in the forest in the distance. Uh, go investigate, Scout. Scout returns, claiming to have seen a large pack of enemies preparing to attack, but they ran off when they heard him approaching. Were they wolves? Were they sentient? I don't understand! It does look like our food reserves are really low, so people might start dying off. I uh, built too many mines and not enough food. Damn, damn, damn! Can I get these lumberjacks working? Chop up these trees. All the warriors do is uh, patrol the town, which doesn't seem extremely helpful to me. But that's all right. We we do what we can around here. The tower needs a lot more lumber if we are to upgrade it. I think I should make a a forest tree. But again, we need somebody that's able to man it. So start fucking, you little people, you little androgynous. Neither male nor female looking lumps of pixels. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we got two guys now. Two more dudes. And uh, we'll do one one forestry. I, I guess mine is not necessary. Necessarily necessary. Um, how about a temple? Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Build the temple! It shall be so grand! Alright, now we're out of people again. Game was saved. Unfortunately, I uh, think there's there's things lurking in the woods. Some insight. Bats are coming. Okay. We can handle fucking bats, can't we? I hope. I might want to upgrade this tower, but again. Need that freaking ore. We'll make another tower over here. That'll do just fine. And, um... I would like some more forestry. There we go. There's some more people. Hmm. Trains hunters to be better at archery. I don't care much about that. We need more calants to uh, make the library. Calants. Calants? Calants? I don't know. I just don't know. And uh, I'm also quite unsure what this thing does. It seems that we need more uh, more research in order to upgrade the farm or the temple, but we're already really low on food, so I'm nervous to mash that. Although if we do finish the research, I can uh, I can make more food in the farms and just start upgrading them. I do have two populations sitting around, and I would like to uh, increase the yield of my farms. It's going down just a little bit. And I don't know what season it is, I don't know what's happening. There does seem to be some uh, blocky little things up here, but I don't know what any of that means. I ain't no expert on this game. Oh, we got four people now that are free to sit around. So good. Finish the research so I can upgrade these fucking buildings. Farm. Upgrade. Farm. Upgrade. Yeah. That'll do just fine. Oh, and we need much more in order to upgrade it yet again. So yes, largely a research-based game. Research-based town management simulator. I need another forestry is what I really need. But uh, again, short on population. Short on population. I just can't do it. Um, chop these trees down, please. Kill all of the trees. I need wood. The king demands wood. Ah, our food is going up thanks to those farms, I assume. So that was a really good idea. Food stores are about to starve. Yeah, mm-hmm. I see. So I see. Let's make another forestry so we can get uh, a steady amount of wood coming in here. And then, uh, does something else take one person to upgrade? No, most of it takes... Ooh. We need more calants. Calants! I will upgrade the market so we can get more calants! And, uh, that one guy, I don't know where he's gonna go. Th do you want to be a warrior, little guy? Unfortunately, you can't, um, crank the number down. You can't adjust it. A game like Banished really just lets you reassign people wherever you want. Viltown does not. Once you make that decision, it's fucking made. 
you can't go back. I really want to know what abilities and things like that are, but, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it that far. Winter is coming. You can tell because the sky is getting dark. There's lots of clouds everywhere. They're coming to get us, boys. Hey, no. Well, we got a, a pretty good amount of wood, but now the ore production is falling behind. Hmm, should I make more mines? I got enough people to make more mines. I guess I will. I will do it. These will probably be broken down in just a second. I'll make another tower as well. Oh, fuck. Here it comes now. They're gonna get me! Obviously, once your town gets large, it's uh, pretty difficult to, to scroll back and forth across the entire thing. Oh, and those bats are fucking wrecking our shit. That's not good. Who'd have thought bats would be stronger than wolves? I guess when they travel in a, a pack, a flock, a mischief, a herd. A herd of bats is coming this way. It's a relatively difficult thing to fight them all. And my builders are just having a hell of a time trying to staunch the flow. I could slap some more warriors up there. Oh my god, maybe I should. The bats on the left are just cutting right through to the middle of my town. Alright. More warriors. We'll worry about everything else uh, after this. <laughs> after these messages! And I do have a good amount of uh, resources now, so I could upgrade a watchtower. This is... yeah. That's a necessary one to upgrade, and then we need some more ore to upgrade the other one. But yeah, this is the, uh, the pinch of my town. The, the most critical part, and I really don't like them being this far in here. It rebuilt the forestry, but the bats are just fucking running rampant over my people. It's not good at all. And the, uh, the food is about to run out as well. So I'm gonna assign some more hunters and hopefully get that done. Ooh, look at that tower. Level 2 tower. We gotta do a lot more research if I wanna upgrade it again. But I need to uh, get some more money and some more foods. And right now I'm just trying to, to get the towers upgraded. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll hang on the side for just a little bit longer. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We lived another year. Fuck yeah, baby boo. Ah, uh, you know how it do. Alright. Everything's good, you guys. Commence to, uh, to cleaning up this, this fucking mess that was my town. It was my town. And now it's nothing. Nothing! I'd really like to upgrade these mines. Next population, uh, boom. I'm gonna upgrade those mines. There we go. Hey, speak of the devil! There we go. I should also probably get uh, this tower upgraded, but I thought the mine was more important because then you're rolling in more ore every time, I presume. I'm not really sure how this game works quite yet. There are spare resources we can use to help plants grow. Where should they go? Uh, we'll give them to the farms because we're almost out of food. Food production increased greatly for the next season or two. Thank God. Hopefully I can get above 200 again. I don't like being this low. There's a big red exclamation point that says, Hey, you shouldn't be this fucking low. You're ruining everything! Okay, sorry. Monks, research and upgrade artifacts. I guess I should assign some monks, but I haven't, um... I haven't found a purpose for them, really. I don't really, uh, get far enough. Oh, next season bears are coming. Fuck. And we are above the 200 point on food, which is quite nice. Um... Is more ore coming in from this mine? It's really negligible how, how different the mines look. It's super hard to tell the difference. Alright, I guess I'll assign some monks, maybe. Oh, but you do get four ore instead of one. So that's really, really nice. I do need some more lumberjacks to go out into the woods. Go into the woods, my people! Oh my god, there's nothing. We've clear-cut everything. That's okay. Oh my god, is winter coming again? It goes so quick! 
<laughs> I'm so scared. Ooh, woodland. Lumberjacks gather more lumber. Click. Click. What does it mean? Nothing, apparently. Okay, great. <laughs> and even though our food stores are uh, up to 300 now, our people are still about to starve. Um, no, no, they're not. Now our reserves are just getting low. Oh, wait, now they're about to starve again. <laughs> I guess it's because, um, yeah, our population is growing, so that makes good sense. Could upgrade this farm. I think that would be a, a worthy use of my peoples. Go ahead. Go to the farm. Live there. Be happy and flourish. At least until the bears come to wreck our fucking shit. <clears throat> I don't think the warriors are going to be able to uh, take down the bears. Look at how many there are, though. They're doing some good patrolling. Could I upgrade? Oh, yeah. Let's upgrade some towers. We'll do that. Upgrade. Upgrade! No, we need more wood. Shit. Should have built more forestries. That's alright. There's some spare wood over here, guys. Just come right this way. And, uh, kill all the forests. Kill all the trees. Kill all the trees. Kill all the trees right now. Cause it's a thing we do. Cause we are only you, man. <laughs> And I'm surprised that two lumberjacks get that much shit done. I'll tell you what. Hmm, can I upgrade? Nope, need more wood. 40 wood per tower thing. But that's okay, we got the two towers that are nearest to my uh, town hall all fixed up. So I think that's nice. Quite nice. Oh, and now I got a couple of uh, free guys. I'm scared of the bears. I think I should boost my warriors just a little bit more so I will do that because towers don't need people to be upgraded which is super 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 I don't understand what um, the monks are doing I guess they are the purple guys standing outside the, the temple oh the color of the number corresponds to the color of the shirt Wow took me 20 minutes to figure that out duh <laughs> Oh my god, Dayton. How could you? How could you, bruh? Alright, I'd really like to upgrade one more tower before we get overrun in just a minute. And the sky is changing. The colors of the seasons. Archery Barracks li Library? L li library? <laughs> Can you read, Dayton? <laughs> no, it's a three-syllable word. <laughs> it's so complicated. Oh my god. Okay, so we're not gonna get the towers upgraded because I just built that library, but that's fine. I only need a little bit more wood to build uh, archery barracks, which hopefully would make the hunters more effective. Quite nice. And uh, I do have seven hunters on the gerb right now. Put some more warriors. Even more. <laughs> I'm so fucking nervous. Bears? Are you kidding me? Bear! I can't believe it. I bet they got like bulletproof vests on, assault rifles. You don't know what these bears do out in the woods. Aside from shitting. Obviously the bears shit a lot in the woods. <laughs> but look, we got so much food. That's probably why the bears are coming. A lot, lot of food, 56 population. That's quite nice. A lot of them are uh, abandoned to the mines and the farms forever and ever but that's okay they'll be just fine oh my god look at all the bears they look kind of like camels but who really cares oh my god dude they're tearing shit up even that uh that reinforced tower is not gonna hold up for long here more warriors more warriors protect the outskirts of the town oh Jesus Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh! No! They smelled the food! They're coming to end us all! Why? Why, bears? How could you? Oh, that tower's holding up relatively well. From the bear horde. But yeah, it's, it's not going to 
not going to be enough, I don't think. Really quite unfortunate. Hmm. Should have uh, built more forestries or upgraded more forestries, as the case may be. I might make it just barely, but I'm sure that town hall is going to take quite a bit of damage. Shit is shit is getting real. All of a sudden. Oh my god. They're just relentless. There they are beating on my on my big red circle. No. Please. And my people are going to starve because uh all the farms are fucking decimated. But it's not really going to matter because it looks like they're all getting fucking mauled by bears anyways. So bad. Oh, look how quick that shit goes. The builders build it up and the bears are just like... <laughs> they did have machine guns. Well, we made it through the winter, but I think it's too late. Yeah. God damn. Well, friends, this has been Villetown. Uh, let me know if you're able to get past year three. If you did enjoy the game, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Do check it out on Steam for yourself. Link is in the description if you uh, liked what you saw here. And if you do, friends, any of the above, like, comment, subscribe, check out the game, whatever it is, I'll send you a throw pillow. It's got a floral pattern. It's quite nice. And you can beat yourself up with it after you uh, lose the game. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do now. I'm really sad. I spent so long building up my vill town, and then it just it just was ravaged by bears. It's fucking really unfortunate. <sighs> but you can have as many ba throw pillows as you want. Bears don't eat those. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, friends. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, 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 see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.